In each round of two different games, Ying tosses three fire coins and Mario tosses two fire coins. A. The first game consists of one round. If Ying obtains more heads than Mario, she receives five dollars from Mario. If Mario obtains more heads than Ying, he receives ten dollars from Ying. If they obtain the same number of heads than Mario, receives two dollars from Ying. Of determine Ying's expected winning. To find the required expected winning, we just apply a formula for uh, the expected value, but we need no corresponding probabilities for each winning. And to find that, we should use given conditions. Um, but firstly, we should know possible outcomes, number of heads that you can obtain and corresponding probabilities and number of heads that uh, Mario can obtain and corresponding probabilities. So we should uh, consider firstly possible outcomes, number of uh, heads that Ying can obtain and uh, that uh, Mario can obtain. Let y be a random variable number of heads that Ying can obtain. And let's construct probability distribution table. And since Ying to the 3 Fair points, possible outcomes, number of uh, heads obtained are 0, 1, 2, and 3. And we need corresponding probabilities. There are two ways how to find uh, required probabilities. We can just apply a binomial distribution because number of heads obtained can be described by um, binomial y because uh, constant number of trials it's three and constant probability it's a half because it's a fair coin and we need just calculate probabilities that y is zero y is one y is two y is three using uh, calculator and binomial pedia or we remember properties that total probability of all possible outcomes is 1 and uh, if you know uh, three probabilities you can find the last uh, probability as 1 minus the sum of all other probabilities or we can just consider all possible outcomes and there are eight possible outcomes in total how do i know that there are eight possible outcomes in total is because Two possible outcomes for each coin, head and tail, so it's two and three coins, so it becomes two to the power three, eight. And it's not necessary, but uh, let's uh, write all possible outcomes, and uh, they are head, 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 tail, head, tail, head, tail, head, head, and uh, tail, tail, head, tail, head, tail, head, tail, and head, tail, tail. And tail 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 and you can see that there are eight possible outcomes and we can see to get zero heads uh, we need get all tails and it's one out of eight to get one head it's three out of eight two heads three out of eight and uh, to get three Head, it's one out of eight. So we get the next probabilities: one out of eight, three out of eight, three out of eight, and one out of eight. And we do the same for Mario. And uh, also, a binomial can be applied, but it's uh, easy. Uh, to consider all possible outcomes because uh, um, Mario 2 says two fair coins and possible outcomes are head, 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 tail, tail, head and uh, tail, tail and probability to get and uh, we should write that uh, let m be a random variable number of heads that Mario can obtain and possible outcomes are zero 1 and 2 and the uh, corresponding probabilities are 1 out of 4, 2 out of 4 and 1 out of 4. And now let's consider uh, or 
uh, let write uh, w let w be a random variable yinks winning and construct probability distribution table for yinks winning and notice that we should consider uh, winnings with respect to yink and we need to find corresponding probabilities and and it is given that if yink obtains more heads than mario she receives five dollars so winning is plus five when y is greater than n and and the next if Mario obtains more heads than Ying, he receives $10 from Ying. So Ying loses $10 or winning uh, for Ying is negative 10 when M is greater than Y. And if they obtain the same number of heads, Mario receives $2. So uh, also negative 2 for Ying when y is m and also we remember that we can find two of three and the last can be found as one minus the sum over two other probabilities and let's consider situation when y is greater than m so possible variants are probability that y is greater than m is when y is 0 uh, y to be greater than m uh, there are no possible values for m uh, when y is 1 m can be 0 so that y is greater than m and it's and it's at the same time so it's product multiplication plus when y is 2 possible values of m are 1 and 0 or we can write m is less or equal than 1 plus when y is 3 m can be 2 1 or 0 or it's just all possible outcomes it's just 1 and it is equal to y is 1, probability is 3 over 8, m is 0, 1 over 4. Plus, plus is because o, and if it's o, it's plus, and multiplication. y is 2, it's 3 over 8, m less or equal than 1, it's 3 out of 4, and plus y is 3, it's 1 over 8 and common denominator is 32 and it's 3 plus 9 plus uh, 4 so it's 16 over 32 or a half and we can consider similarly similarly uh, that y is less than m but it will be more easier to consider y is equal to m because it's just probability that y is uh, 0 and m is 0 probability that y is 1 and probability that m is 1 and probability that y is 2 and probability that m is 2 and it becomes 0 is 0 so it's 1 over 8 times 1 over 4 plus 3 over 8 times 2 over 4 plus 3 over 8 times 1 over 4 and common denominator is 32 and 1 1 plus 6 plus 3 so it's 10 over uh, 32 or 5 over 16 so it's 5 over 16 it's a half or or 8 over 16 and hence it's 1 
O16 over 16 minus uh, uh, 8 minus 5, which is uh, 13. So it's uh, 3 over 16. And then the required expected winning becomes expected value of W becomes 5 plus 5 multiplied by a half minus 10 multiplied by 3 over 16 minus 2 multiplied by 5 over 16 and we need just calculate it and it is equal to 0 and it's the required ying expected winning. It's not necessary here, but we remember if expected value is equal to zero for some, for some game, it's called a pair game. And uh, if uh, somebody pays uh, for uh, to play a game, we also wish uh, we can see the uh, expected value of uh, profit and also this. Uh, value uh, to play uh, to play uh, a game or to buy a ticket or a lottery we also should it take into account and we consider minus uh, this value and if we get expected value is equal to zero it's called a fair game or or a fair play and the next part and again it's the same situation uh, ying two says three Fair coins, Mario 2 says 2 fair coins. And they now play the second game where the winner will be the player who obtains the larger number of heads in a round. If they obtain the same number of heads, they play another round and until there is a winner. Calculate the probability that Ying wins the game. So so, it is given that uh, to win, it is required to get greater number of heads. And probability that uh, uh, Ying wins in uh, probability that uh, Ying win in the first round. It will be, it will be that since uh, Ying two says three coins and uh, Mario two says two coins, uh, and we need uh, a Y should be greater than M. It will be just this value. So probability that Ying gets uh, the greater number of heads than Mario. Uh, when uh, Ying two says three coins and Mario two says two coins, it just this value it's a half. So it's a half. And probability that Ying wins in the second round, it will be the next. Uh, so uh, the first round, it uh, must be draw. And uh, uh, Mario cannot win, uh, so and uh, to get draw, it must be the same number of heads because it is given if they obtain the same number of heads, they play another round. And probability to get the same number of heads, it's. Uh, 5 over 16 it's 5 over 16 and uh, so we get draw in the first round and uh, ying wins in the second and uh, ying wins if uh, y is greater than m and its uh, probability is a half and you can deduce that uh, probability that ying wins in the third round it will be uh, draw in the first draw in the second and ying wins in the third uh, it 
to win, probability is a half. And so on. And question is actually to find the probability that you eventually win. And it becomes infinite series. So probability that the ink wins becomes a half plus 5 over 16 times a half plus 5 over 16 of half times uh, plus. 5 over 16 times 5 over 16 times a half and plus so on up to infinity and hence we can see that it becomes an infinite geometric series and to find uh, uh, the sum we just apply a formula it's a u1 1 minus uh, ratio and it becomes a half 1 minus 5 over 16 multiply each term by 16 we get 8 uh, 16 minus 5 and it becomes finally 8 over 11 or 0 0.7 to 7 to 3 significant figures and it's the required probability and that's all for this question